morning, everybody. I just wanted to pop on here real fast and um, say hello. I'm missing you guys extra special this morning, especially since it's Tuesday. Um, sending my love to everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, and uh, it's my understanding that Healthy New Albany is going to be putting together a way to bring classes to you guys. I'm not sure when that's going to be, but in the meantime, I just wanted to um, not only say hi, but also just walk you through maybe a 10-minute uh, practice that you guys can do at home just to keep you guys going. Just keep your bodies going and, um, and uh, letting you know that I miss you all. So having said that, come to a comfortable seat wherever you are. You can sit in the couch, preferably move to a chair, but um, where I want you guys to be comfortable. So just as we always do in the beginning of the class, we'll check in. Go ahead, come to your comfortable seat. If closing your eyes is part of your practice, go ahead and close your eyes now. Take a moment to feel where your feet land Notice the rooting down of your feet. Notice your bottom in the chair. Notice any sensations in your body. Notice any thoughts in your mind. And then notice your breath. First noticing the breath that you came in with, the breath that you started this video with. And being aware of the parts of your body that move as you breathe. Just checking in with your body and your breath. And then gradually begin to deepen your breath. So deepening your inhales, lengthening your exhales. So over the course of a few breaths, just having your inhales and exhales become the same length and the same depth. And then again, noticing where in your body you feel the breath. And even placing your hands on your belly or on your chest. If you can really feel your body move as you breathe. Noticing as you inhale your belly, your side ribs, your chest expand. And then as you exhale, no noticing those same parts just relax back into your body. So again, inhale, notice your belly, your side ribs, your chest expand. And as you exhale, noticing those same parts contract, relaxing back into yourself. Inhaling, expanding, nourishing. Exhale, relaxing, releasing. Nourishing, exhale, releasing. Go ahead and take a few more breaths in this manner, about three to five. Just placing your entire awareness on your breath. And then after your next round of breath, keeping your eyes closed, allow that breath practice to go and just come to a breath pattern that works for you at this moment. Just a natural breath pattern without trying to force your inhales or exhales. And then once you've come to that, go ahead and allow your eyes to flutter open 
and then moving off of your chair just a little bit so that you come to your nice seated mountain pose and you can really feel your feet firm into the mat or into the floor below. Knees directly over your ankles. Notice your bottom firm into the, your seat. Even on both sides. And your shoulders directly over your hips, the crown of the head lifting up towards the ceiling. Notice your torso get nice and tall, belly pulled in towards that spine. Nice. And then we'll slowly just do some opening of the joints and of the body just to, just to kind of relax into your body, get back into our bodies a little bit. Nice. So from here, let's go ahead and just take our wrists and just roll the wrists around one way. And roll the wrists around the other way. And then inhale the arms all the way up. Go ahead and gaze up at those palms if that's comfortable. And exhale as your hands come through to heart center. Let's inhale, open the arms up. And exhale as you gather the hands back together. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, hands together. One more time each way. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, gather the hands back together. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, gather the hands back together. Nice. From here, let's go ahead and inhale the arms all the way up. Go ahead and clasp those hands. Allow that clasp to come up towards the ceiling as much as you can. Release those shoulders. Feel your feet firm into the mat. Inhale up. Nice tall spine. And then as we exhale, go ahead and twist your torso to the right. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, twist your torso to the left. Inhale back to center. And exhale as your palms slowly come back down. Placing them at heart center one more time. Go ahead and place your hands on your lap, and then let's just take some shoulder rolls. Loosening up those shoulders, taking those shoulders back, taking the shoulders forward. So keeping your head and neck in line with the spine as much as possible. And then inhale, lift one shoulder, lower it. As you exhale, inhale, lift the other shoulder, exhale as you lower it, and just alternating shoulders. Inhale up, exhale lower. One more time each way. Nice. And then inhale, both shoulders up. Go ahead and keep that the shoulders up for a moment, and then exhale as you lower those shoulders back down. Inhale, palms come all the way up. Exhale as you gather the palms and they come back to heart center, keeping your torso nice and tall. Feeling your feet firm into the mat evenly, your bottom firm into the chair, belly pulled in towards your spine, crown of the head lifting up towards the ceiling, keeping your palms together. Go ahead and inhale as you grow tall through the spine, exhale as you twist to the left, inhale back to center, exhale twist to the right, keeping your feet firm, inhale back to center. One more each way, inhale. Twist, back to center, inhale, twist, and come back to center. Go ahead and lower your arms, and let's just move the arms forward and back any amount, stomping your feet, moving the arms forward and back, stomping your feet, away from energy, and just move your body in any way that feels comfortable. I have no idea what I look like on this video, but hey, here we go. And then lower the arms back down. Just shake everything out. Shake everything out. Feet come back to stillness. And we'll begin to warm up, loosen up our joints and our legs. So I'm not sure if you guys can see my legs, but you can hear my voice. You guys have been through my classes. You know what to do. Come back to your mountain pose. Relax through your shoulders. Nice. Go ahead and extend that right leg. And then we'll begin to point and flex. 
and point and flex, keeping your torso nice and tall. And then roll the ankle one way and roll the ankle the other way. Nice. Inhale. Extend that leg. Go ahead and lift that, move that heel towards me. And then exhale, lower everything back down. Come back to your mountain pose. Regroup. Feel any tension. Release through your body. And then from that mountain pose, that nice alignment, go ahead and extend that left leg. And we'll do the same. Go ahead, point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Roll your ankle one way, roll the ankle the other way, and just feel yourself loose through your head. Just move your head side to side. And then inhale, extend that leg up. Arms extend up towards the ceiling. Heel comes towards me. And exhale as you lower back down. We'll take that one more time, but this time lifting arms and then extending both legs. Nice tall spine. And exhale as you lower everything back down. We'll take it into our cat cow. So inhale as the chest opens up towards me. And exhale as you slowly round your spine, stomach coming in towards your spine, gazing down at your belly, at your thighs. And then inhale, coming into your cow pose, shoulders release, gaze where the ceiling and the wall meet, and exhale as you round that spine, coming into your cat pose. Go ahead and take two more rounds. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. In and out through the nose if you can, as you breathe. One more time, inhale, open. And exhale, round. Nice, slowly come back up to your mountain pose. And just open your legs up a little bit more than hips width as we go ahead and make our way into our forward fold. So let's inhale the arms all the way up and exhale as we circle them around. Go ahead and place the hands on the thighs. Inhale, nice tall spine, and we'll first come to our modified fold. So go ahead and fold forward from the hips, leading with the chest, placing your forearms on your thighs, placing the palms together. Feel that long line of energy from the crown of the head all the way down to your tailbone. And then again, shaking your head now just to loosen up so you're not holding any tension through the neck and the shoulders. And then as you place your hands back on your thighs, go ahead and push yourself all the way back up. And we'll take one more forward fold so you can either come to your modified forward fold or we'll go all the way down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale as you circle those arms around, placing your hands on your thighs. Go ahead and inhale, release those shoulders, nice tall spine. And exhale as you begin to fold forward, coming to your modified fold or allowing your hands to Come all the way down, keeping your hands where they feel comfortable since we don't have our blocks, and then just releasing down, shaking again your head, yes and no. And then on your next inhale, either placing your hands on their shins if they're not already there, or placing your hands on your thighs and pushing yourself back up. Go ahead and inhale the arms all the way up and exhale as you circle those arms all the way down. Nice. Coming back to your mountain pose, go ahead and heel toe those feet so you're in your mountain pose where your knees are hips width apart and your feet are hips width apart. Take a moment just to notice any sensations in your body. Again, releasing any tension where you feel like you might be holding tension. Let's go ahead and make our way to a standing position. So. Let's come up, and hopefully you guys can see me. I'm going to make sure I'm going to move this up a little bit. And just for today, we're just going to either come to the back of the chair or come to the side. And just for today, we're going to end our stand. We're just going to do one standing, which is the hip circles. So you guys know this. Go ahead and spread your feet as wide as you'd like. And just make, take, slowly move your hips one way. Bend your knees as much as you'd like. I'm not sure if I'm in the video or what's going on. 
but I know those of you who are in my classes, you guys know how much I talk about doing hip circles. So this is a wonderful thing to do during TV commercials, although, and then take it, take it the other way, your hip circles. So I'm not sure if anybody watches TV with commercials anymore, but I'm taking a break every 30 to 60 minutes and getting up and just doing some form of movement. And if you can't get up, just doing some movement in the chair. And then go ahead and stand up. And let's make our way back to the chair. Like I said, this is just going to be a short video of things that you can do at home. Okay, so making your way back, just go ahead and come back to your comfortable seat. Relax into your chair, just like you did in the beginning. And again, closing your eyes if that's comfortable for you. We'll just take a few short moments here to come to our Shavasana, but know that you guys can take as long of a Shavasana as you want. So with your eyes closed, taking your focus to your breath, allowing the breath to just be breathing in and out through the nose. And as you breathe, notice any sensations in your body. Again, noticing those thoughts in your mind, but allowing those thoughts just to come and go like clouds in the sky. And any time a thought comes into your mind, just greet it and lovingly bring your awareness back to your breath. And feel free to stay in the Shavasana again as long as you'd like. But when you do come out, remember to come out nice and slow, allowing your eyes to flutter open, slowly awakening your body with small movements, and then moving into larger movements. So you guys know what to do. Wiggling fingers and toes first. Rolling wrists and ankles, bending knees and elbows, taking long stretches overhead, extending your legs, and then I will end this quick clip with um, placing our hands in heart center and just expressing my gratitude to all of you. And just know that we are here for you, and um, you know we're, we're all in this together. The light in me honors and recognizes the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. I'm going to try and turn this off so you're going to see my face front and center.